Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything planning and faith. Today we're gonna to be talking about J Notes. So as you can see from the title, I'm giving you a huge hint here. I like this app. I like this app a lot. Um, it was something that I kind of just wanted to check out and I honestly had zero expectations for this app. Even watching this video really did not excite me. Um, <clears throat> because I just did not expect it to be as good as it is. But my goodness, you guys, some notable features we'll talk about today. I do intend to dig further into this app. This is just my first impression of it, honestly. Um, so it's not going to be like a tutorial or anything like that. Once I feel form more familiar with the app and I feel more acquainted with all of the features, I do intend to drop a tutorial as soon as possible because I know I said I was going to use touch notes for next year. But considering that this does everything I want and then some more, more reliably, and it seems like their updates are a lot more regular and in a cleaner form, I can't resist. And the app is $7.99 for a permanent uh, upgrade and then $5.99 for just the year, which obviously $7.99 makes more sense. You get it permanently. You don't have to pay for anything again. So I'm just importing my planner in here and I'm just gonna talk about some of the features that this app does have as we go through it. And then I'll start to kind of narrate what I'm doing. So the app in reader mode does allow you to click around links. So this does support planners and any kind of uh, PDF document that has hyperlinks embedded into them. Um, this app also supports hyperlink making. So you can create links in this app. It has two tutorials, one for just taking notes, which I think is super awesome, super helpful. I will be going through that, uh, through those documents to better understand them so that you don't have to. And I'll be dropping a tutorial. You see how this app already looks so much like GoodNotes? Look at that toolbar, y'all. I feel like I felt like I was on my iPad, to be honest with you. But like I said, the features on this app though, supersede good notes because obviously it's going to be doing a whole lot more so this is my uncompressed planner and it's loading it up really nicely you have the ability to do um outlines bookmarks you can copy and paste pages you can merge documents and it will keep the hyperlinks sorry about that that's my phone it will keep the hyperlinks you can do the color dropping tool just like touch notes which is huge that means you can get colors across the screen so once i saw that it was that kind of color dropper where it's a recording color dropper i had to test this out i'm just using my fitness miss cheeky kit that just dropped today and i am grabbing the blue from her hat and now it is inside of the app and this pen also has the straight line tool it also allows you to edit the shape after you've already drawn the shape which is super convenient and it fills in the shape if you want it to i'm sure you can alter those um, settings to change it up you can drag stickers in of course from samsung notes but once i saw that you could do that which by the way this little photo feature reminds me so much of good notes because when you're on photos it allows you to bring uh, <clears throat> It, it brings up that little thing where you can add photos. So you can do your selection tool, your lasso tool, and decide what you want to lasso, which I think is awesome, especially for layering pieces. You can also log in. I was trying to see about the, the premium feature, like what the steps with, would be, excuse me, and I do eventually get the premium feature. You can drag multiple stickers in at once, you guys. Like, Need I even say more? Let's keep going. All right, <clears throat> so it has the uh, pin cases up here. You can also have it over there to the side where you see that little pencil is. I added yellow and I didn't mean to do that. You can add custom text, I checked. We'll be doing that later in this video. You can write to text, easy as in touch notes, which really made me happy. You can't bring gifts in. I had to test that out. So that's something that touch notes has that this does not. But to be honest with you, who's putting gifts in their planner these days? I know I'm not. Um, because let's be real, that lag is no joke over time. But um, yeah, I was just clicking on stuff. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of premium features in here. But to me, after a while, it just felt worth it. I was just like, yeah, I, I have to. So you can change the theme. You can use the white theme and change the uh, top part of your color. As you see, I, I changed mine to purple. You can also go into dark mode and change the color of your top bar which I thought was really nice. It's really cool. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's probably like reading mode or whatever when you're using it and you just have to turn it up, which is why nothing was happening because I realized now it's on 0%, so you're not going to see a difference there, but uh, to help with your eyes. <clears throat> and then 
Um, these were some more features that I did not have at the time, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it in just a second. I'll be putting my finger up letting you know I'm going to get the premium one because it just has all the stuff. So it also has a stickers function. I'm going to look through the, the tutorial thing to see how you add stickers in, but it does have stickers that come with it already. And seeing that it already has that kind of setup, I don't see it far on the future. If it doesn't have it, they'll probably be adding it very soon. Um, yeah, with the font, it's so much easier, you guys. When you go to add a custom font, it automatically populates all of your fonts from your tablet into that little window there, so you don't have to search for it, which is, to me, like, I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's amazing. So now we're working with the premium features, um, <clears throat> which is how I was able to bring in custom font, and that's just... Uh, a very common font. I forgot the title of it, but I zoomed in. So the zoom goes up to 400%, which I don't really mind because it's to me with the screen being the size that it is, it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> it I'm hopping around. You see, I'm using the hyperlinks and reading mode, which the reading mode gets rid of that bar, which I really like creating a hyperlink is basically just cop uh, creating one and pasting the link. It's kind of like touch notes in that sense. So it's not as easy as Penly, but to be honest with you, I don't care because you can turn the font into clear and put a sticker over it and you have a link. So at the end of the day, for me, it's, it's just going to have to do what it do. I'm not even mad. Now, once I did make it clear though, I honestly didn't know where it was. So that's something that I'll have to, like I said, do a tutorial on and figure out the full functions of this feature. Um, <clears throat> but once you click on everything up at the top bar, it all seems to have a drop down menu and it does tell you what it does. Um, and it does tell you what it does, <laughs> Ill, but it does tell you what uh, features it has and whatnot. So you can kind of get an idea of what it is you're clicking. I wanted to see if you could do split screen and you can't, um, but I'm, I'm wondering if you can do it within the app. I did not get to try that out, but I will be, like I said, just doing a full blown like study session on how to use this app. It also has the capture feature just like in touch notes. So you can bring that white box in. Um, there is no like dragon, uh, like, you know, that dragon duplicate, there goes the stickers and stuff, which is really nice. They give you quite a few. And I'm very happy about those post-it notes because they look really cute and they give you a decent amount. But, um, with duplicating a sticker, you're just going to take it, copy it and paste it. I think I showed it in this video, but <clears throat> excuse me, it might've been afterwards. Also, you can convert handwriting to text in this app as well. You will just write and then you'll use your lasso tool, circle it, and, circle it, wow, circle it, and then convert it to text. But overall, <laughs> I like I said, when I do this tutorial, yeah, because you can search through your notes. I know somebody was looking for that feature. I think it might have been Crystal. Um, Crystal, yes, you can search for your notes. You can also record your note, uh, record, excuse me, text what am I trying to say, lectures or things like that. If you're in school, you can record if you need to um, and have it inside of your note. This does allow cloud syncing. Um, I am logged in, so I have it on my phone and I also have it on here, which is super convenient. You'll just sync your notes. It has templates, including calendar templates as far as planners. It has notes, it has work, it has writing. So if you work on your handwriting, it has like the guidelines. It has an art template for drawing. I mean... You guys, when I do the tutorial, I promise I'm going to take my time and try to show as many of the features that I found within this app. Also, when you go to merge your documents, it shows all of your PDFs so you don't have to go search for them, which is awesome, awesome. I don't know how they do it, but I love it. And it keeps the links. Like I said, you go into reading mode, it's gonna keep your links so you don't have to worry about merging documents. I'm very happy about this app, you guys. Let me know what you think about JNotes. Is it something that you're considering? For me, after really like, playing with it a little more after ending this video and I wanna do, like I said, more research. It's gonna be a yes for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.